G'day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today we're going to be doing a battery performance test of the new DJI Neo 2 to see how long it can track in a real world situation. Usually the battery ratings for these drones don't translate into real world use. So I just want to see how long we can track for while on an e-bike. Now at the same time we're also going to do some speed tests. It is rated to track at 12 meters per second which is like 27 miles per hour or 42, 43 kilometers per hour. I haven't had it that fast yet. I have had myself being tracked at about 31, 32 kilometers per hour, uh, but we'll see if we can get up to the top speed. We may not be able to on this e-bike, but uh, it'll be a good test to see how fast we can get it. I also have the prop guards off and the module off just to make the drone a little more efficient. It is fairly breezy today, so that is going to play into the battery usage on windy days the drone has to spend more power exert more power to keep it stable so that will come into play as well i'm also going to be tracking on the dji neo app here it's a great little feature it allows you to get a visual feed you always know the drone is still behind you because sometimes you can't hear it now one last thing before we get started here i want to keep this test safe uh, there's one car parked at the trailhead this is a rail trail it goes on for about 30 kilometers i believe uh, so we probably will pass somebody at some point. In that event, I am going to stop the drone, go by them safely. I don't want this thing to go whizzing by them. Of course, it's going to stop recording. So at the end, I'll just have to total up the amount of time that we flew for. All right, so I just actually moved down the trail a little bit. I seen the person that was walking, so I thought I'd just get past them. That way we don't have to worry about it. So I am going to get the aircraft connected to the DJI Fly app. And then uh, we'll get this test started and uh, we'll put the drone up here. Rear. Cycling follow. And it seems to be getting windier out. Two, one. So there we go. Drone is tracking us. So off we go. Now I might cut parts of this video out. I just don't want it to get too long and boring. And uh, we'll just keep the interesting stuff in. So right now we're traveling at 30 kilometers per hour. And the drone is having no issue keeping it up at all. And it's nice and smooth. There's a lot of small, low-hanging branches there. So hopefully the drone doesn't run into them. It does have obstacle avoidance, but uh, those thin branches and at this speed, you know, I don't know how well it will avoid some of that stuff. Go through this gate. Yeah, if I find any uh, really low-hanging branches, I'll uh, go a little slower. Okay, let's get some speed here. Let's see if the drone can keep up. I think the max I can get to on this bike is about 38 kilometers per hour. We're doing 32, 33, 37. 38, 39, and uh, the drone was struggling a bit there. You can see it was starting to lag behind a bit, uh, but it did pretty good keeping up. That was actually going pretty fast, and the wind might play into that as well. Like as mentioned, it's actually really breezy, so if it wasn't a breezy day, it may have been able to go even faster. It may have not have lagged back there a bit. So let me check the battery here. I have a hard time reading the screen. It says we have 10 minutes of flight time left. We have been recording. We've been recording for two minutes and 51 seconds. So far, so good. Trail is a little bumpy. I can uh, hear the drone behind me. That wind is really making those uh, motors rev up as it's trying to keep itself stable. So honestly, I think the DJI Neo 2 is gonna be 
a great tracking drone for cyclists just because you know it, it can go at a fairly fast speed as we just demonstrated and the fact that you can change some of the settings on the fly like right now it's following us from behind but we can put it over to the side of us just with the tap of a button we don't even have to stop recording we can change the follow height just all on the fly just with a simple tap now i not going to do that here just because there's not a lot of room on either side of me but yeah in theory if I wanted it to start following me from the side I just have to tap on the screen there now there is a highway here we have to cross so we'll have to stop for a minute make sure it's safe and I'm kind of regretting my decision not to wear gloves today it's a kind of a cool fall day here in Ontario uh, it's about 11 degrees today, I think, but uh, you sure feel that on your hands when you're on a bike. Whoa. Seemed kind of close, but made it through. No one's coming, so I'm just going to go right across. Go a little slower through this one. The uh, obstacle avoidance actually works pretty good on the Neo 2, uh, especially when you're using some of the autonomous features like uh, Droney, you know, you're not going to fly backwards into a tree. It's not foolproof. I actually have had it run into a branch, but uh, definitely does help. There might be some times where you want to turn it right off if uh, that obstacle avoidance is being a little too sensitive, might prevent you from getting a shot that you want to grab. Now, I see something up ahead here. I don't know if that's a person or just a marker. It's orange. I don't know if that's somebody with a vest on. Guess we will soon find out. I'm gonna slow down a little bit here so I can read the uh, screen. Uh, it says we have five minutes and 28 seconds worth of recording time left. We've been recording for six minutes, almost seven minutes now. So, yeah. Definitely if you're going to be doing a lot of biking and recording, you're going to want to invest in some extra batteries. Now, I'm actually going to turn around because I do see somebody up ahead. So, let's just start heading back the other way. And yet the Neo just stays locked onto us even when we change directions. I don't know what the heck that was, something hit the bike. So we're down to three minutes and 37 seconds if I can read that right, of recording time left. Gonna be coming back up to that highway here. So we've been averaging about 30 kilometers per hour. Uh, sometimes we're dipping down to about 26, 25, but on average we've been going about 30 kilometers an hour. Right, so nobody's coming, so we'll just go right across. We don't have terribly long left to film. Battery level, low battery. Return home promptly. So it's telling me low battery level. But I'm going to hit cancel. Low battery. Return to home promptly. We'll just keep on going. Ooh. Another gate here to go through. Jeez. That's a narrow one. It's hit my handlebar. It's 
so it says we have 53 seconds left to fly, 12% left of the battery. We've been recording for almost 13 minutes. Critically low battery warning. It's just giving me a critically low battery warning. And there it just stopped tracking. So let's uh, go back and get it. Critically low battery warning. And there it is there on the ground. You can see it there. So yeah, it just stopped tracking us when it got to a critically low level battery. Uh, it stopped, then landed. Uh, we still have 7% left on the battery. Now I didn't get a total cycling time there. I'll add that on the screen once I check the file size when I get home. Uh, but yeah, this thing has been really impressing me. Uh, I think this is going to be a great drone for a lot of people. If you just want something that's easy to use, one button and it's tracking you. And as you can see in this wind and the speeds I was traveling, it's extremely capable didn't hit anything and it stayed locked onto us. And due to its ducted design, if it does happen to have an impact with a tree branch or a tree, you know it's probably gonna be just fine. Unlike a traditional drone for tracking, it can be kind of inconvenient because what do you do with the controller? And they're a lot more fragile. Those propellers, if they clip one of these little branches that are hanging down, you know the drone's gonna crash. And there's a good chance that it'll be damaged that needs to be sent back in for repair. So yeah, that is my tracking test of the DJI Neo 2. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.